Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the blackest cats Yay. and the newest Atari homebrew. Mm -hmm. Welcome to uh, part two, the final part of the ABBUC Yay. contest, <laughs> uh, where we play the second half of the games that were in the contest. And I've kind of reserved the more puzzle. Yes, yes, Sprite. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> Reserve the more puzzly games for you, because I know you like the puzzle I games. I do like the puzzle games. Yes. Yes, ding, ding, ding. The cats are all here. Yes. They get very excited about the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're less about the games and more about their game. Their game, yeah. To get the treats. Yes. Um, but it is an Atari 8-bit night. Yay. Let's put this up over here. <clears throat> Bring on the 8-bit. Yep. We're going to be playing some Atari 8 bit games. Um, we're going to be playing one, two, three, four, five and a half. Okay. Um, five and a half. That's interesting. Yep. Um, but first, I want to thank all the subscribers who are scrolling beside Tanya. A cardboard box, Andrew Atari, Atari 800 XL Worlds, Atari 74, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, Beer Pocock, a Buffalo Pinball Child, Stolen Mount, Charles Wheel and Chitla, Colonel Lamb, Cubanismo, Cyrano Reboot. Who's in the chat? Uh, Dr. Moog has Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Feta, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco, Kvelta for Lambda Express, the Marker Hands, Mark Space Egg, Mental Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, McTell, Miss Command, Mem Case, Smith, Mr. Zonu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neil Meaning, Nostalgia, Koagar, 70, Rendi, Ghost, Printless, VG, Revan, Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Testin, Rock, and the D Train, TK Dan, K, T, Foes, Trek, M, D, Vex, Rex, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVD, Double Down. Probably the fastest ever. Nice. And if you want to support the show, like. Al Nefer and Dan AVC did Yay, thank you. Uh, just before we started the show. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, you can click subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime mm -hmm. and you haven't already supported a different stream that you like. That's right. That's Get in there. Too. Use that free Amazon that's uh, right. Use uh, it up. subscription. Don't let it go on to us. waste. On Not us. other people. On us. <laughs> well, you can share it. You can share it. No. Uh, no. Uh, I've got a package here. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Zarnawoop. Hey, Mr. Zarnawoop. And hello, no. Mrs. Zarnawoop. Now, why would you support another stream? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know the what, reason. What would they have that we don't? I don't understand. We've we got have, cats. You we know have, we have cats. We have cats and Atari games. Yeah. <laughs> what else, what else do, you, do you want? Yeah. That's that's everything in life. Isn't that cats and Atari games? Yes. It is for me. It is for me. Let's open this up. I think this is from eBay. A dog, says Cyrano. Oh. No. Yeah, they require a lot of walking. They do. Yeah. They poop outside. And the pooping, yeah. Which may be a bonus for some people that the animal doesn't poop inside the house. But these That's guys true. are very clean. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. So this is... Ooh, what is it? Ooh. A dusty joystick. I see a joystick. Yay. It is the Fighter Stick SG6. Nice. So what uh, is that for? This is for a Sega Genesis. Okay. Um, and I bought this uh, for a very specific purpose. It's got a lot which, of switches. Um, yes. It's got a lot of rapid fire, some nice. turbos, even a slow button, which I'm guessing just does click start over and over again. Um... I was doing research on six button joysticks that work with the Sega Genesis and this one came up as one of the uh -huh. best ones. Nice. It looks sturdy. Uh, yes, like the, it is weighted. You can see it's got, it's got a, a metal, metal base. base to it, which yep. isn't that, all that Very common, sturdy. So. It's uh, mm -hmm. fairly tiny, which is good because I don't have much room. Yeah. Um, it's got a you know decent uh, length and uh, reminds me of the NES Advantage. Yeah, oh, very similar. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the NES Advantage as well. But this has six buttons. There are ones with three buttons, which I do have one or two copies of already. Mm. One of them broken. Um, but <laughs> this one is said to be very sturdy. I'm going to take it apart and clean it because it is. It looks fairly looks dusty. very dusty. Yeah, and these yeah. good spray down with, yeah exactly uh, isopropanol or something yep get out the ipa ipa um so yeah, it sounds like beer to me when people say <laughs> would you like some ipa <laughs> so it's a fighter stick sg6 uh made for the sega mega drive oh. i mean it's the same sega genesis i guess yeah it came out in the u.s so sega genesis as well gotcha. i'm guessing this page is uh european uh, Fighter Stick SG6, known as the Fighter Stick uh, MD6 oh, in Europe. Fancy. There we go. And Fighter Stick MD in Japan, a six button arcade stick for the Sega Mega Drive made by ASCII. Uh, opting as an uh, alternative to Capcom CPS Fighter MD. 
um, which is much bigger. Mm. And um, this one got better reviews. Oh, okay. Uh, when I looked it up, uh, sold for a cheaper price. Oh, uh, arcade power stick. See, that only mm. has three buttons. Mm. That's the problem with that one. And I need six buttons. And it has a metal base for added weight, which I like it to be a little bit I, weighty. I do think it's nice if it's not shifting around. Unfortunately, this particular compound is prone to oxidization. Oh, no. Bottom. Yeah, some of the other ones that are li were listed on eBay had some oxidization. This yeah. one has zero. Well, that's it might good. Might be a little under the sticker yeah. there. Very yeah. small amount. Um, uh, those stored in wet environments have not aged mm. well. The base is made from pre-crash Atari FRF shields. There we go. Mm. Uh, and there's some articles about it there and some photo galleries. They all look kind of the same. Um, but brings nice. us to the next uh, story, which is related to this. Huh? Uh, the 7800 GD, the Lynx GD and Jaguar GD are now back in stock at Atari Age and other places that carry it as well. Nice. Uh, so if you're looking for the Atari 7800 Lynx or and or Jaguar game drive, um, I have a Jaguar game drive already. Mm -hmm. We have all of them back in stock in the Atari Age store. We also have the 7800 Mega Controller Adapter, hmm. which allows you to use a Sega Master System or Genesis controller with the Atari 7800 oh, games. Oh, I see method to your madness. And right? if you look right there, beside the green dot, six button oh. uh, joysticks okay. for the Mega Drive. Nice. That's a six button. Nice. Not only does this Mega 7800 do a uh, six button, three button, two button, it also adapts light guns. So I don't need to make those adapters. <gasps> this does it for you. I ordered okay. two of those. Okay. Not, I still I still have to make one. Not eight or four or whatever we're going with. <laughs> no, I, I have four light guns. Yeah. One is an Atari. Yes. Doesn't need an adapter. Doesn't need it. Uh, three are Sega phasers, yes. which need adapters. All bought at the Retro Gaming Expo That's this right. year. This is last year's shirt. So I got two yeah. of those adapters nice. that covers off two of the light okay. guns. And okay. I have the parts to make uh, the last one, um, adapter. So there we go. We'll be covered off for uh, the four player day mm -hmm. for the light guns anyway. Um, so yeah, the 7800 game drive is on its way to me. Um, this also has AV out, which gives you RGB out from the 7800, which is the first RGB out solution for the 7800. Nice. Um, it does the RGB out directly from the cart. Okay. Does um, that cause a delay or anything? No, or? no delay. Okay. It's done very, very well. Very nice. I haven't heard any bad reports about That's it, so excellent. we'll have to see that, see how that works. But it, uh, doesn't touch the system per se but a lot of the rgb outs do their own processing mm, I see. Um, so it's it's very similar solution to a lot, a lot of the other rgb things that just go in between chips uh mr zarnoop says 7800 gd and mega 7800 is wonderful mm. the break ability in games gives new life to old stuff rgb video is great too nice. yeah you're able to break out of games without having to turn on and off the system um, oh, oh, okay, and that's go nice. go back to the menu on the 7800 game drive. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and it has a whole bunch of other things as well. So, uh, Jaguar GD, I uh, already have that. We're going to be using that in an upcoming show. Excellent. To go through all the old school Jaguar games for the 30th I'm anniversary. Looking, looking forward to that. It also plays most CD games. Okay. CD-based games for the Jaguar. Um, I'm sure Cyrano can kind of attest to how many, what percentage of the CD games it can play. Do you know, Cyrano, off the top of your head? All, uh, all of Saints GDs are great, Cyrano mm -hmm. says. Lynx, 7800 game, uh, and, and Jag. I have a different mm -hmm. uh, Lynx um, card. Is that the card? Yeah, that's, that's the card for the Lynx. Very nice. Yeah, it is very nice. Very nice looking. Some, a number between 0 and 90. <laughs> Hopefully 90, because <laughs> uh, otherwise we'll be playing videos of the ones that don't work on yeah. it. I'll have to check them all out because I know two don't work. There you go. So now I guess there are uh, 20 CD games then. Um, so if you were looking for the 7800 game drive, it's been uh, unavailable for many, many months. Okay. So it's now back in stock in all the places that stock um, Retro yes. HQs. Retro HQ. Um, I always, always enjoyed their logo, that little, like... Yeah, fighter guy attacking... 
Uh, no, the, oh, the little board. It's like oh, a little yeah. board. Yeah, it's like a chip, and it's got some vias. Um, they, what do you as call well. those vias? Or vias, because they go through the board, so they yeah provide a via from That's one layer I to like the it. other. Yes, it is a very. Uh, it's a great logo. Yeah. yeah. So that is the news, and this is that's what I'll be using with this for um, when we um, when I get that, and when there are six button games to play on the seventy eight hundred. I don't know if there are any yet. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, they'd have to be made, I guess. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we're into the games now. Yeah. You ready for games? <laughs> I am ready for games. Are the cats ready cats for games? Cats ready for games. One's abandoned us. Oh no. Atari is in the hallway eating a bag, eating the Atari age bag handle. Is it tasty? Staring at me like I'm a crazy person. <laughs> okay, first up, we're gonna play a Zauber Ball 23. Zauber Ball. Okay. Uh, it is a port. Um, it is by C3PU, uh, mm. Oliver Sirenka. Um, But we're gonna be taking a look at where it came from first. Um, and it is a port of a Commodore 64 game. Uh, that's where it came from originally, was a Commodore 64. Um, it was ported to a number. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put up the music a little bit. Nice. Whizball. Okay. Um, Whizball's a horizontally scrolling shooter written by John Hare and Chris Yates, co-founder of Sensible Software, and released in 1987 for the Commodore 64. Also released for the Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum, MS-DOS, Amiga, Atari ST, and Thompson M05. Never heard of that one. Okay. Uh, so let's get I'm into. Trying to read everything on the screen. Oh yeah, all the power ups and stuff. We'll go through those. It's not a. I like the font. There's something uh, very old school about the font. Yes, very nice font. <laughs> That's very nice. Get ready. It's very bubble bubble. Mm. <laughs> so you're that dude. Um, so I have a printout of all all the instructions because there is a bit to this. Okay. Um, this is the release of Zauberball 23, my, my contribution to this year's ABBUC uh, Software Contest 2023. Uh, we're not. This is the C64 version, everybody, mm. just to clarify that you're looking at. In this release version, there are some important additions, namely an animated scene in the wizard's house and a closing scene when all the levels have been colored. Also, the game ends as soon as all the game levels have been complete, so the game has a defined end and can be won. I guess this one goes on forever. Zauber Ball is a reinterpretation of the game Whiz Ball, this one, mm -hmm. known for from the C64 with new gameplay, graphical and acoustic elements, such as new background graphics, additional parallel uh, effects, which this one already does have, many extra colors of the Atari palette, because uh, the C64 only has 16 colors. Yes, yep, yeah. Um, which is amazing given how good a lot of the games look. <laughs> Shockingly, yeah. yeah. Uh, countless moving objects and enemy sprites, filters and alternate pokey clock rates were used for sound effects, which makes the sound effects sound more transparent. Compared to the original version of Whizball, the game flow of Zauber Ball was slightly revised to allow for an easier start difficulty level. <laughs> Cyrano says 16 colors, 13 of them and purple. purple. <laughs> and cyan. <laughs> yes, can't forget cyan. Cyan is That's so That's where we important. all learned where cyan came from. Cyan, yep. Um, I think the game is not a copy of the original, but rather an independent variant with its own charms. Okay, so you can see, let's skip ahead to probably some more. There's the wizard's house he's got a black kitty oh, with a white tail I don't and, know what, and boots i do not know drinking. what he's doing to that cauldron though <laughs> he's making some potions uh-huh let's see what else what a whiz ace whiz ace oh okay. funny 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 so there's lots it's 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 a shooter essentially but it's uh, more than a shooter it's like rpg-ish elements you have to collect things and so it's not just a straight up shooter and there's um, kind of mazy things to go through. Luckily, the things don't kill you. The walls don't kill you, which is so hard on, on shooters a lot. Mm. Let's see. Yep. There's space parts. Oh, come on. Space shooter parts. Oh, that's very flashy. Let's go away from that. <laughs> um, and there's like planet parts. So. Nice. Yeah. So let's boot up 
uh, the one that we're actually going to play for, uh, that was in the ABBUC. <laughs> Making potions. Cream of some old guy. <laughs> okay. Nice. And three kind of brownish to fill it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the colors uh, were mm, sketchy. Yeah. It's okay. Everything in print shop printed out in black <laughs> black and white, and white anyway so that's you had to color true. in the banners you did for people's birthdays <laughs> yes uh, that's right you had to add, that was add a big part of my childhood was making cards and banners oh, in print me shop me too loved it yeah it's lots and, of fun and i think nothing dot matrix printer dot matrix printed printer out long nothing banners. made my mother happier than to keep us quiet for like an hour <laughs> by having banners. us figure out print out a banner and then color it for like the next yeah oh yeah yeah fantastic keeps you quiet i i i mean uh whoever Ooh, whoever dark. whoever made print shop should uh get credit for like babysitting half of half of the middle class middle class kids out <laughs> out in uh, north america yes 100 uh, percent. okay what are we doing it is zauber ball zauber ball One, two, three nice this is 60k xex yeah go so. for it uh the developer uh oliver also made break it 22 extended version which was uh yeah go for it was in last year's abbuc Ooh. contest Ooh. so this was released nice. on october 30th okay so. let me just turn it up a look little bit for us look at that pumpkin that's pretty good look at that the blending of colors that's fantastic yeah okay go for it Zabberball ABPUC nice. Software Contest 2023 release version. Uh, we'll just play one wizard solo. There's some default. So any key for tips. Let's press the any key. Story so far, Wiz and his faithful cat, cat. unnamed cat, yeah. have ever lived peacefully in the magic forest in a place called Wiz World. One day, the evil wizard Drazzy live <laughs> mm, came to take all the colors away. No. Oh, and turn Wizworld into a dull and ugly place like the C64 palette. Oh no. <laughs> Actually, Wiz is kind of a peaceful, is a kind and peaceful guy that rather prefers to play Atari games. Yes. Yeah. But now they decided to teach Drazzy live a lesson and get all the colors back to beautiful Wizworld. Nice. It is your turn to help Wiz and his cat, unnamed. What should we name the cat? We'll figure it, <laughs> we'll out, figure to, it out. To collect color and defeat the evil. Nice. Any key to continue. Getting started. Shoot enemies, pick up bonus coins, and wiggle stick to enable power-ups. Wiggle that stick. Uh, go to next world by volcanoes. Uh, power-up types. Anti-gravity. Hmm. Beam. Double shot. Oh, cat power-up. Yeah, cat. Gotta have a pat cat power-up. Oh, oh, this guy came right, right over. Yeah, he said, did He's you our cat say power cat? Up. I am here to be your power up. Yes. Um, laser, wizard spray, cat spray, Ooh. Ooh. bomb and shield. <laughs> uh, did you take the edges with the feed holes off the paper? Leave them. Uh, I would fold them over once, fold them over twice, rip them off. Broderbund, print shop. Yeah, I think it was made by Broderbund. Yeah. Bruderbund, Bruderbund. I think that's how you say the. Other. Yeah, the, the the feed holes had to come off. Yeah, they're yeah. they're ugly. That was just that was too basic. You couldn't leave Ooh. you couldn't leave the the edges on. Cat your... control, solo players hold button. <laughs> on your Team banner. players use second joystick. Oh, mm. I could have controlled the cat. Mm. Oh, do you have a second joystick? Yeah. Oh, should you we control to. the cat. Yes, you should control the cat. Okay. Wiggle the stick to activate a power up. How well does that work in practice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm the cat. Print shop best practices. <laughs> mm -hmm. Objective: shoot color drops, pick up falling objects with the cat. Ooh. Yeah. And fill pots by red, green, blue to color your world. Mm. Extra colors: gray drop, cat strength, orange, purple drop, mutant cat. Oh, so much cats in this game. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Okay, I think we've got the basics. So let's do it. Press the button. Okay. Push fire. Ooh, it's cutting off the screen a bit. Interesting. I'll figure that out later. It's good to know. So you're bouncy bouncy. So I can shoot. Oh! Went into level two. Uh oh. What? Right, maybe a bit early. What? <laughs> Can I go back up? Uh, I don't. Doesn't look like it unless you find a hole to go to one. I didn't know there was such a thing. You have to shoot those. Shoot the drops as they're falling. 
to gain. Don't run ah! into them. Don't run into them. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up in level two. <laughs> I don't know. I went still. Yeah, we just picked. Oh, I think we have to. Let's let's restart. If we can. Press button. Press button. Uh, let's see if I can find how to restart. Because I don't think we have it where we're playing two cats. Uh, break key. Okay. Press button. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. So I think select might be team. There we go. Now we're playing team. Okay, cat. Kitten. Okay. So I have to wait for the, the cat to come around. Oh, so well. go, don't go down that don't go down that hole. Well now I know it's a hole. Yeah. That it I probably don't want to fall down. Yep. Um a game with a mix of shoot 'em up and strategic elements. Get that. Ah, so now you've got a power up. Oh, you you activated ah! it. <laughs> Move Sorry. away from the enemies. It freaked me away out. Away from the enemies. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Come on. All right. Uh, space bar, blah, blah, blah. The player controls a magic ball, which, which initially only jumps. By collecting bonus elements, B, you can acquire additional powers, power-ups. A flashing power-up in the status bar at the bottom of the screen will be selected by quick left and right movements on the joystick. Wiggles. There you go. Move away from it! Oh no, my god, that was close. that's the whole point of that, is you kill it with the oh, thing. Oh, okay. Okay, that's oh, two. Ran out. Uh, two is down. I don't yeah. think I'm ready for that yet. Oh my ah! god. <laughs> Shoot you. My goodness. The rainbow death is fun. Rainbow Agree. Death. <laughs> uh, Explosion of rainbow death. Yeah, the joys mm -hmm. of continuous feed banners and broader so The power-ups are anti- keep going. Nice. I'm reading the chat! Nope. Not loud. Quiet, you. <laughs> Power-ups are anti-gravity, which I think you used. Uh, beam. Oh. Shield. Oh, you fell in. Yeah, I tried beam, to go Beam, shield up and down, which I think you used. Uh, Bi-directional shot, left and right. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I think the cat has to collect those. Oh. I need a cat. Where are You're the cats? Very ah, close I'm things. trying. I'm trying to like, shoot them, but obviously I have to move away from things a little bit. Oh, more. a satellite for collecting the colors. Okay, so you have to use the power ups to power yourself up, so you can collect the colors. Okay. There we go. Very nice graphics and parallax scrolling. Yes. Yeah, it's got the star scrolling. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. To move away They're so them. hard to hit. <laughs> I'm trying to just get them, but I guess I have to move more. Um, the laser goes through all obstacles. No, I want one of those. Uh, whiz spray. Magic ball fires in all directions. Cat spray. The satellite fires in all directions. Oh, that's a good one. There's no point in... Uh, bomb takes out all enemies on the screen. And Yin Yang makes magic ball and satellite indestructible. Yeah. So that's the anti-gravity one. It lasted for a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Just in time. Oh my god. Still have it? That's level uh, three, yep. and I can't go past. Hey, you probably don't want to go to level three yet. No, I'm not probably really want to sure go to I level two. I think he cleared level two. No, you haven't done the left side. Ah! Ah! Why is ah! It's so hard to shoot them. I wish there was a continuous shot, but there is not. Nope. The most important power up is oh, the satellite, goodness. the catalyte. Can be controlled by holding down the fire button and needed is needed to collect color. So you definitely want to get the catalyte. So you need lots of bees and wiggle your joystick once you get the bees.
Through the volcano craters in the ground, you can switch between six different game levels. Oh, okay, maybe you can come back. Um, in which, in each of which, red, green, or blue color can be collected. Okay. Oh, you're on to the next power-up. Wiggle, wiggle. There you go. Um, from the primary colors, red, green, and blue, the required target color can be mixed in the fourth color pot. The amount of required colors is displayed on each game level by a stripe next to the color pots. There. Uh, the right strategic decision about power-ups and the collected det colors determine success. Try and, when you have a chance, wiggle your joystick to get more power-ups. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I have to... Oh, don't! Oh, my God. No, it so... gets them from the side. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, every time you press a button, it does it. Oh, okay. Oh, you went down to level two? Yeah. Oh, god. Look at that. Explosion of colors. Oh, Goal I of the game. Color, co color all no, six games. Here you keep go. Going. Yep. Yep. I'll go. Okay. Very nice job. Need that turbo button from the six-button arcade stick. That's mm. right. It's only hard when you start, but once you get power-ups, it gets a lot easier really quick. What's what are you doing? doing? He's scratching cardboard. Oh, out of there. Out of there. No, He's no, in no. it? No, no, no. Get he needs to get out. No, no, no. No playing with the N64. Want to get treats? Those cats. We're in a treat mood. Okay, I've got the second power up now. Good. Yeah. Come no. here. Come here. It's so, like I would like treats, please. Got that guy. Yeah. Would you like treats? Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody has to give them to you. Yeah. You can't. You, you have to earn them. He's pleading his case. Yeah, you have to convince everybody that's watching that you deserve the treats. I don't know if you do. Have you been a good cat? I think you uh, destroyed the toilet paper the other day. <laughs> I saw some toilet paper in the garbage. Oh, what was that? Thank you for your poke hug. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes, what do we say? Say thank, thank you, be our yeah. poke hug. James is in the middle of the game. We're gonna have to wait a few seconds and then we'll trigger. Then we'll do yeah. the treats. We'll do the treats in a moment. Oh, they're very excited. Thank you so much. Well, if he's gonna ask aloud, exactly. He's very vocal. He advocates for himself very well. <laughs> <laughs> he's not shy about he's not shy. saying what he wants. <laughs> You're silly. Yes, come here. Say hello, say thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, he's purring. Yes, he is. He's almost very got excited. the cat. Catalyte. Is there a pause button? Just need a. Oh, there is. Oh, there is. Uh, I think it's spacebar. Spacebar. There, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are you guys ready? Time for trees. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's reset the points. You get uh, couch compliant. The game, no, the game is not couch compliant. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that is correct, RC78. Oh, no. oh no, you've given the cat that loses a disadvantage. Kittens! Get back in here! <laughs> what is he doing? Get back in here! Remember to shut oh, cat! Inside! Remember in. to shut the door. In, in, in. Hey, treats? Get him! What is behind me? Why Treats? are you knocking come so here. many things I'm over? I'm not. I'm trying to get the cats in. Kittens. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay. No. Okay. okay. Let's start. It's not going to work if these cats don't come in. Can you please help me wrangle cats? Come here. In. <laughs> in. Inside. What you have to do is this. In. Come on. In. 
Sprite! Sprite! <laughs> Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. If we're both, if somebody's up in the hallway. Gosh. Yeah, but I can't close the door. Come in here. Get in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> silly, silly cat. Why? So hard. Hurting cats is hard. Yes. It's very hard. Your bets in. Good. Place your bets. Click predict at the top. Oh, hurting cats. Hurting cats is the worst. Yeah. Are you guys ready for food? Are you ready? Are you hungies? They are hungies. Yeah, I, I, that was a yes from hungies? Sprite. Okay. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of points on Sprite right now. Oh my God, so many points on Sprite. Oh my goodness. Who's got the advantage today? Lots of people. Get Put your in pets there. in. Three people for Atari, four people for Sprite, but wow. all the money's all on. All the money's on Sprite. All the money's on Sprite. Mm, someone's going to win big. Some smart money. If Atari wins. Okay, you are in trouble. <laughs> it does have a textured finish, our C70, the bratwurst. Oh, yes, yeah, it's got a very nice texture. Atari does look a little. I think he's, I think, you know, he had, he's. Well, he's, he's primed, I guess, because he got one extra treat. I know one fell out of my hand and he ate it. Yeah, Please. does your broad first? Yeah, it has texture, sorry. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. A new category, in addition to couch compliant, you need treat compliant that yeah. allows <laughs> pausing to give out treats. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. treat compliant gaming. Yeah, there we that go. That's true. All right, we're About almost 10 done. Seconds. Lots, lots of people voting for Sprite. Yeah. What yeah. are we up are you to? Ready? Four to three? Four to four? Four to six. Four to six. Interesting. Small amounts on Atari, yeah. but lots of bets. Lots so of people bets. Are Interesting. Okay. Hedging their bets. Okay, you ready, cats? Are you ready? And go! Oh, Atari's Atari. off to the races. He's got one on the board. Sprite is cleaning himself. He's confused. He's watching Atari. Oh, there he go. And he puts his first point on the yeah, board. Yeah, very good. Good, very good, Atari. Hit the bell, guys. Come on, Atari. Get Hit back. Hit the bell. Come on. Get Hit your... the bell. There good we key. go. And Atari is still winning now. Won't be for long because Sprite usually rings his bell right after yeah, Atari does. Yeah. He sees Atari do it and goes, oh, yeah, the oh, bell. Oh, yeah, the bell. That's how I get treats. Oh, very sweet. Oh, my cats. Oh, Why, my why do you do that? He loves throwing it around the room. Did he get it? Yeah, yeah he did. got it. Oh, that's not a ring. Not a ring. Keep that's trying. That's a push. Keep trying. It's a very weak ring. Ring the bell. Good oh, kitty. good kitty. Come on, Atari. Atari, your keep, turn. There, there you, go. you go. Oh, my goodness. Keeping, keeping, the, keeping the dream alive. Oh, oh, oh. Hit it again. You're a little Come too on. soft. There oh. you go. Yeah, Atari is... Get he smacks it around the room. <laughs> he does. He's too. You gotta maybe throw it away I try. from him. No, I I try not to send it too far, and he'll he'll like hit it in the air. He's like he's like a. Oh. Oh. oh that's another no. one for Sprite. Hit the bell. Cat cam sync is off. Oh, I'll try and fix it. Hit the that. bell. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. And Sprite falls way ahead of Atari. A try again? There Good! Go. Good kitty. Let's see if I can fix that right now. Sprite again. Oh, thank you. Who's next? Who was that? That was Atari. Okay. Hopefully that fixes the sync issue. Sprite. Is that game point now? Come on, Atari. Oh, harder. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, that, that was, was Sprite. Sprite. Oh. Atari steals it. Atari took his treat. Sprite started shaking. Where's <laughs> my treat? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. Spot on. Okay, okay. That's good. There oh, we go. 10 to 7. Poor Atari guys. had a great start. It but... was a good start, but he couldn't quite hold the lead. Oh. So Sorry, guys. let's dole those out. By two whiskers, two whiskers. By two whiskers. Yeah. the outcome. It's Sprite again. Oh, so who's the big winner? It's Vintage Gaming Memories. Yay, Holy good job. 46,000. Wow. That's a huge day. No wonder so many people bet on Atari. They're like, oh, that's a big prize. It's wow. worth putting a couple hundred on him. Yeah, true. Finch Game of Memories and three others nice. split the pot. So nice. you're going to be actually splitting 4,000 because that's that's all the stuff. Yeah. Wow. That's still, good job. Good job. Good job, kitties. Atari, I'm hoping for you in the next round if we have another next round. 
You were very close. He was very good in the beginning. He, he was, was right on it. Very good in the beginning. And then just kind of lost steam. Yep. And Sprite is right on there. He hears Atari ring it, and he's like, well, I got to ring it, too. So. Won 329, bet 300. Okay. Nice. Good job. Okay, you ready? We're back. At least you can press fire to resume. Yes. Which is good. What are you drinking tonight? Um, just it's a peach spritzer with a little bit of alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> Random alcohol. Oh, Quintro. Okay. Quintro. Okay. Very nice. Oh, hopefully this will give me the the cat. IPA. <laughs> uh, no. no! Damn it! Oh, that was a nice. I really do like the <sighs> unicorn vomit uh, explosion. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. <laughs> So I have to start from my all over again with power-ups. And is he supposed to look kind of like a bouncing Slimer? <laughs> because that's all I think of when I see... Kind of does, eh? Hey? Is, he, is he the wizard? I think he's the wizard inside the ball. Inside the ball, okay. He's just, just trying to figure out the... Logistics of it the, all? Well, like what, what it represented, oh the ball. Oh my god! Yeah. I just see a frog head, yes. Uh, yeah, big mouth I like was a thinking frog. he escaped from either Berserk or Jawbreaker. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Berserk, yeah. Definitely. I do like the um, shooting noise. Oh, okay. two bees. Good job, good job. Don't get a power up each time you get a bee, but. Oh, now I do. Okay. Good. Now I fire. Oh, I thought I... Oh, get up and down. Okay. And I can fly away. I can fly under them, which is so good. Okay. Oh, now you have lasers? No. Now I have double side Oh, shots. I see. Oh, nice. No, no, yeah. It has to highlight the next one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hopefully this is it. Okay, I get the cat. Okay, you control the cat. I, I control the cat? Yep. You what have do to, I get to do? You have to collect all the drips. Oh, the drips? Yeah. Just the drips. Okay. When I when I shoot something and, and the drip falls Can down I the die? screen. I don't think so. Can I shoot? No, I can't shoot. Okay, we're going down to level two. Oh, I can shoot! Oh, yes, please shoot. Going down to level two now. If there is two. There's no friendly fire. Okay, we're going to go down to level two now. Oh, no! Oh. Did you lose me? No, there was one thing there. No, nope, you're still here. Got the drips. Mm -hmm. Nice, it's filling up the green. Nope. Don't get to play too many two-player co-op games. No. Oh, hey, we filled up our green. Cool. I bounced away. Back to home. Back to home. Oh, okay. Neat. I like this. I like this. Oh, back. What is... Oh, it's a different shooter. We're, it's a forced scrolling shooter. Oh, my God. This is... Do we have to travel home? Oh, my God. This is close. Oh, there's, this is crazy. No! Oh! <sighs> wow. Lose all my power-ups. Oh, no. Pick your power-up. How? Oh. I guess that. <laughs> Anti-grav. Oh, no, I want this ball. Oh, I can pick any of them? I want that one. So, Catalyte. Super helpful. Well done. Okay, well, good. Whoa! Colors. It must have been a bonus level. Yeah, that, that must have been a bonus level. Like, collect things. What are you doing? Go collect them. Doing that again. Ah. It's funny. I can kind of go through walls. Yeah, I can. You probably need to to collect all the things. Wow, it's super fast filling up the... Uh, don't seem to be able to die because I seem to collide with things all the time. Excellent. 
Okay, Which I think we need to go to a different me. level because we've got our green fence. Oh yeah, so oh, there's one. Let's go one. To... That's oh, back to one. Yeah, I think and then I'll you want to go to, go three. to three. Yeah. Oh, the power up. Oh, oh I shouldn't have used that. Oh. oh it just keeps destroying everything on the screen. Well, that's. Is it temporary? Yay! Got oh, all the full reds. red. Oh, great. Yeah. A sequel to a boy and his blob, a blob and his and cat. cat. Yeah. Hey. I'll take it. Is this and the another... cat's in the small one. Oh my god. It's the things that shoot. That's the things that get me. So just as long as I stay away from the things that shoot. And stay relatively... Oh, oh my god, it made a beeline for me. Yeah. So it doesn't look like we lose our color. No, it looks it looks just like it's a bonus level. Oh, that means I already have the cat. Yeah. Ooh. Beam? Laser beam, yeah. whiz spray. Whiz spray, the wizard spray. Magic ball fires in all directions. Sure. Well done. Okay. Sure. Oh, I love it. No, I love lost. the colors of this. Yeah. No, we've lost. No, we've got all our green back, but not our red. Weird. Oh, no. Wow, it's getting harder. <laughs> game over. Oh. Wow. That's that's a really cool game. I need to play that some more to figure out... Um, the strategy for it. More but, strategy. Yeah. But it's got... A lot of gameplay. It Z is really cool. P H. Yay! Yay! Thirteen thousand six plays. <laughs> Very cool. I highly recommend uh, to download that if yeah. you're into shooters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's essentially a shooter. It's very cool. It's a good name for a game. Things that shoot. That's yeah. a good name. Okay, we're gonna play the next game. Stop it. Uh, which is D O T A by Martin Simchak. Um, this is 35K XEX. Uh, oh, the last one placed um, third place Okay. in ABBUC. Very nice. Uh, this one is placed in, um, where am I? 10th place. Okay. If you could load it up, D-O-T-A. Uh, is it yours or mine? Oh, sorry. Because you were the I'll give you back this. One. I don't know if there's any more two-player games. What do games. I do? Do I go left and button? Hold left and press the button. And D-O-T-A. Yep. Dota. It's described as dive into a captivating puzzle game where your goal is to connect dots and complete patterns. Ooh. Exercise your logical thinking and pattern recognition skills in this engaging oh, challenge. That summary was from Vintage is the uh, New Old. Okay. Because they summarized every game, which was very nice. Though. Okay. Press the button. You can't see it. All the arrows are watching it. It's a very interesting game. Find it. All the arrows are watching it. Get it. <laughs> it's almost creepy. Before it's too late. <laughs> there you go. Now it's creepy. So all the arrows are pointing to where it is, but you can't see it. And you have to put your, your thing over top and press the button. Now you had it. There you go. Hey, get two tries. There you go. Has a timer that's still counting down. Oh, reset. Now you're in level two. B. That means it moves, and there's an A. Oh, they only have to be kind of approximate. Okay. Now you're in level three. That's good. That's good. Is it good enough? Yes. Maybe you <laughs> don't have to be absolutely perfect. You just have to be around it. Gotcha. So nice. you're supposed to do it as fast as possible, is what you're telling me. Yeah, you have a fair amount of time. Ooh, now what? I would oh, wait. Oh, two tries. I would wait for it to come to you. Yeah. Don't you follow it. Gotcha. 
because that's a fool's game. Too oh. early. Too early. Wow, that's really... It's way oh. too early. Way too early? Yeah. It doesn't go all the way. Well, do the middle one then. Don't do on the edge. Oh, oh my god! There we go. See, it's not even perfect. Nope. Mm. I would do the middle, not that. But That's much easier. Level five. Interesting. The other one keeps moving, but the new one is a static one. Nostalgic says, nice pokey rendition of D-O-T-A by Base Hunter. Oh. Now this one, I couldn't do very well on, on some of them. Looks like you got that one okay. I think it was this one I had a lot of trouble with. Now it's not, now look at the other arrows. It's not down there. Look at the ones on the yeah, diagonals I know. there. I see it. You're not in line with those. I, I see it, I'm not there yet. No, no you're too far down, to the, to the, to the, too far to the left as well. Really? That arrow's not pointing to it. Oh, timer out of time. Oh, I see. Oh, it's an infinite amount of tries. The tries count up. That looks right. So D, and then it counts down to A. So there's three more to get. Triangulate. <laughs> Is that because there's triangles? You're at a slight disadvantage because you're not centered on the screen. Me? So, yeah, so yeah, it makes, I, that's why makes I'm it leaning more over. difficult. No, I just meant look at three, not just two. Oh, yeah, definitely at least three. Four makes it easier, but you, all you need is three. Oh, too slow. <laughs> Start over. Feels like a vision test. A it does, doesn't or B. it? Oh my goodness. A or B. Now point on the screen where you think the dot is. <laughs> no, try again. <laughs> Two more to go. Twenty-two seconds. Seventeen seconds. Yes. My turn. Okay. Oh, it does feel like a vision test, my. doesn't it? Is it moving? Oh my. Okay. Oh, that's that's pretty easy. It'll point right at you as you go by. Yep. It's the time. Uh, so it's on this. Oh. Got that one. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's on. Oh my God! It's like. Here. Nope, you're too far to the left. No, no. No, I have to start over. Okay, this one is. You're down. You have to go down a little bit, I think. Really? Yeah. That if you arrow look on the at, left is pointing exactly. Look at exactly. that right arrow. Oh. Why is that one on the left pointing exactly? No, you're, you need to go more to the right. For sure. Much more to the right. There. 
<laughs> Your turn. <laughs> this oh, gets it's coming this up. gets hard. This gets hard. Especially since these are, they're actually moving. Mm -hmm. Two arrows are moving plus your, oh, actually your dot isn't moving on this one. It's just the arrows moving. So then what, all, if your dot was moving, all oh, of God. them would be moving. Oh, it can't. is lower. That, that left one is. That's inaccurate. Is quite. Well, it does have a tiny curve to its, and yeah, it's deceptive. It should be down a bit. No. Oh, no. Oh, he did it. Okay, I'll try the next one. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh, okay. Uh, what? It's, it's like there? No, no, further to the left. Look at, look at that upper one. Look how far, you have to be way far over left. Oh, like. Yeah. Oh my God. Ah! I think it's much lower actually. Oh. Yeah. And over to the left, maybe a touch more. Over to the left. Oh, there you go. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's like up. Over there, up. Oh yeah, it's definitely to the right of those guys. There. Oh, Atari. He likes this game. Uh. Oh, it's like... Oh my god. No, you're far too too far to the right now, I think. <laughs> oh god, your turn. This is brutal. This gets so brutal. Yes. Way down. Mm, yeah, it could be. Oh my gosh. Is it further over? Uh, not there. No, look at that bottom right arrow. That looks. Wow, that, that looked right to me. You give it one more try. <laughs> that was down mm. here. I wasn't watching you when you did it, so... <laughs> well, you got it first try. Last time. You could cheat by putting little stickers, stickies on the screen. <laughs> Two more to go. Watch the arrows that move up and down when they point exactly to the right. That's where it is. Yeah. It's lower. Four seconds. Three. Click it. Oh. I don't know why that's so hard. Got it perfectly. Now I'm very. <laughs> Second guessing? Yeah. Oh. No. Just off a tiny bit and it really throws you off. Yeah. It's like you. Nice. This one, for some reason, it's, it's like. giving us trouble. I bet I'm close, but just. It's down more. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at. Sorry, vertical. A little bit more to left. Oh, good. So close. Yeah, you got four one try seconds. in four seconds. Hurry, hurry, just do it. Do it, do it. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Zero. 
zero. Zero <laughs> seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. You want okay. we'll finish up. Your time is already uh, ticking away. Yeah. <laughs> that was just in time. Nice. Thank you. Dee -doo -dee -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Oh, it's moving. No, it's moving around in a circle. Yeah, just. Oh. oh my god. Nope, further to the left. Okay. Much further to the left. Much? Yeah. No! Oh no. Up, up, up. There you go. One try and 10 seconds left. Ooh, that's hard. Oh, it's a static one. Good. Hey! Oh, we're, we're still going? Next time we fail, we're, we're oh, going to the next Oh, it's going to be game. the next time. Oh my god. These may not move, even move in circular patterns or predictable mm. patterns at, anymore. It may be a, multiple different rotations. Nice. It's a moving target. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think it's pretty low. Yeah. yeah. One last try, 12 seconds. Yeah. Ooh, one more in nine seconds. Oh. Okay. We're done. Good, good run. Level that was 10. fun. That is a very unique uh, game. That's really fun. It really has you thinking and like, okay, making fake lines in your head about where yeah. things intersect. Next one's called stuff. Double um, by Pop Milo. This mm. came in uh, fourth place. You can load it up. Okay. It's an homage to 2048. So it's not 2048, but it has some, uh, a lot of the, has the Which rules of 2048. Which did you say it was, sorry? Double? Double. It's the 31K EX XEX. Uh, same person did also another game we're going to be playing right after this. Mm -hmm. Good music. Okay, so you throw, uh, the ceiling will come down. You have to throw those up and they use the rules of 2048. There you go. And they combine horizontally and vertically. And I believe they co combine vertically first. They check first. So double challenges the player's strategic thinking and puzzle solving skills. Shoot randomly appearing tiles upwards, aiming to merge the tiles with identical numbers. By aligning two tiles vertically or horizontally, their values combine for greater points. Instructions. Press fire or start key to start the game. The goal is simple. Shoot random tiles appearing on the bottom upwards. Try to make combo of two tiles with the same number on them. If two tiles are next to each other vertically or horizontally, they will merge their values added. More merges, more points. Time is your enemy as the entire grid is pushed down from the top all the time. Your current score is shown on the bottom left. High score on the bottom right. Enjoy and try and beat the score. Graphics and gameplay inspired by a game called 2048. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to an awesome game called Merge 64 on the Commodore 64, which first inspired me to start the project. Title music is called Aurora M is by RMT, Legend Aridex oh. Sturba. And I think we were listening to this song before the show started too. Or I've just heard it so many times because it's such an awesome tune. I always confuse 2048 with Robotron 2084 when somebody <laughs> talks about it. Yeah. Very similar games. Understandable. <laughs> no. They're very different games, but very similar titles. This is like Tetris and 2048 merged together. I was playing this this afternoon, um, testing it out, making sure it all worked, and uh, played it for played it for a while. It mm -hmm. is quite addictive. It is a great mm -hmm. play on 2048 because you really have to strategically place them. Yes. Um, so that you don't fill up your grid. Mm -hmm. But you can also place things beside, like um, like that 16 you have. If you placed it beside the 16, it would merge together horizontally. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. You also want to kind of stack things up so that 
they merge beneath them. I mean, eventually they have to. Uh, they That's eventually the will, yeah. yeah. But there are ways to do combinations, and that's where you get the big points, if you're playing for points. Because also on the board, is not only just your score, but there is the biggest tile, just like in 2048, which is right now 512. Nice. Yeah. Good combo. But you don't want it to get to the bottom of the screen, nope. just like Tetris, it's game over. Sort of like the Neo Geo Money Puzzle Exchanger, but in powers of two. Bitcoin Puzzle Exchanger. Bitcoin Puzzle Exchanger. Okay. I've never played Neo Geo, uh, Neo Geo Money Puzzle Exchanger. I'm guessing I. you are combining things in bigger and bigger combinations. Obviously, it's much easier to get to 2048 with this game. <laughs> uh, much, yes. Because <laughs> you're already at 1024, and that's a huge accomplishment in the original game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have to look up Neo Geo Money Puzzler Exchange right now. See what that looks like. Neo Geo. The unobtainium of console gaming. Mm -hmm. What a name. Money Puzzle Exchanger. Oh, okay. Instead of 24816, they use uh, 5, 10, yeah. 50, 1s, 100 coins. So the coins combine. Interesting. I wonder how they combine, though. Do you have to get like 5 10s to make a 50? You. Oh, wow, this person's playing way too fast for me to even watch. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. No, I can't even watch that. That person's like playing expert mode. I love watching expert mode. <laughs> like, I can't even see what's going on. Yeah, you have to combine five ones to make a five, five tens to make a 50, two fives to make a 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, It. this is very, very much like money puzzle exchanger. Very, very much. I would say that was, it's a port more of money puzzle exchanger than it is of 2048. I'll have to change the designation in my listings. So I put this as a port of 2048. All right, take that back. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I, yeah, I definitely wouldn't call that that. Uh, Already up to 2048. I am. Mm. Good call, Gamma Dev. Yeah, if I had known of that game, I would have definitely called that one out too. Mm. Nice. Fun game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a relaxing game too. Like it's not. It's a not game... super stressful. No, it's nice to have not oh, super stressful games. Da, 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 da. I left all the puzzle games for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You yeah. know how much I like puzzle games. I know. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tear the joystick out of your head. Like no, mine. It is mine. <laughs> Ouch, third r round of ads here. Another whole minute. Ooh, boy. What? Oh, no. Oh, uh, I'm terrible. guessing, Vitoka, you're not subscribed. <laughs> if you subscribe, <laughs> all the ads go away. Yeah. But you can't hear me because you're watching ads. <laughs> Actually, somebody said that now when the ads come on, it pauses the stream for them. Really? And then it resumes the stream after the ads, which is good mm. and bad it's bad because now you're X minutes, seconds behind everyone else. Yeah. But it's good because you don't miss anything like before. So it's like, uh, I guess you could always restart. Um, like refresh the stream to catch up, which is, which is, it's good to have the options anyway. Do you have another row on the right? No. It's just five rows? Uh, it's just five. Okay. The problem with playing games like this is I don't end up speaking very much. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. And and um, the developer also referenced another game 
Let me look that one up as well. What did they reference? Something 64 on the Commodore 64. Uh, Merge 64. So it might be the closest to that game if it uses the exact same Merge 64. It's like suggesting Mega 64. So I'm going to put C64 as well. Merge 64. Oh, that one does it horizontally. But I think it's the exact same game. Let's see. Yeah, it's... Is it the same game? Does it do it... Horiz does it do it vertically? Let's see. So far they're only matching horizontally. Just watching a video of the game that it... That this was a port of. Why did they do that? This person's a very bad player. <laughs> Done. Do something horizontal. Oh, you're gonna die. The stream is not paused, but minimized without audio, at least for me. Oh, okay. Well, that's um, not great. Because <laughs> then you do miss, unless you're able to rewind. I'm not sure. I think you can rewind. Oh, it does, it does match. So this is exactly what Merge 64 is. I'm going to definitely point that as the... Um, as a port of that game. No ads here, but it keeps pausing to buffer on this hotel Wi-Fi. Oh, that sucks. Hotel Wi-Fi. Hotel Wi-Fi. Yeah. I uh, wonder how much this game would change if you could see the upcoming bits. Uh, upcoming I know. Piece yes. Like Tetris. It would be much better. I agree. Interesting. I, agree. I mean, it would change it quite a bit. It would, it would make, make it, it a lot easier. Yeah. Maybe too easy. I don't know. It, it might, because then you know. could plan one ahead. Oh, you're running out of room now. Yeah, I am. Uh oh. Oh, oh that was good combos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. See, you wouldn't have put that four there. Actually, yeah, you would have. Ooh, good. This is 16, but that doesn't help. Ooh, good. I cannot rewind during the stream like YouTube. Okay. I feel like I could do this forever. I know I will die. Well, you're halfway up the screen. I don't think you can. I want to see you go past 2048. <laughs> oh, it'll I don't get there know about eventually, that. But... Eventually, but it'll take quite a while. Because you're forced to do it. Like, you either die or you're forced to make it... Keep uh, going. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think I'm done soon. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Dead. Dead. Good. That was a good run. Good run. Very fun game. 32,000 Yep. It just comes it for you. Just slowly comes down. Nice. Yeah, the ending could be better. Like you just have to wait mm -hmm. for your death, <laughs> even though it the game knows you mm -hmm. can't make a move. Or maybe it doesn't know. Um, fun, very fun. Very, very good game. Yeah. This is this is a, a cell phone game. This is a game you start oh, playing and then yeah. suddenly realize four hours have passed. Yeah, you're like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go to bed <laughs> or work. Ugh. Okay. Next game it, you will love as well. Super fun. It is called Ink Spill by Vladimir Yankovic. Pop Milo again. Okay. Um, title music is also from Raster. Let's listen to it for a second. Hi. This came in seventh place in the ABBUC software competition. The summary is drawing inspiration from the Pico 8 game. Pico 8 so cool. Mm. It's, um, the Pico 8 is a fake console that never existed. Oh, okay. Foofy hair. No, it's gone. Yeah. Um, a fake console that never existed. Oh, stand still. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. 
It's like on your lips. I can feel there it. There you go. That's what you were like trying loss. to get rid of. Like, what's going on? Something's tickling. Pico 8 is a console that never existed. It has very low resolution. Okay. But like super power CPU. Like it's totally misbalanced. Okay. So it's got, it can do like 3D graphics on a like 128 by 128 uh, pixel display. Okay. Um, so it's, it's not a real console. It's a fake one that somebody made up. You have to run it on a real computer. Oh, I see. Okay. Like a really good computer. I was like, is this some kind of philosophical like paradox? Like it's a it's a console that never existed. Yes. Like, but then how does it exist as a console? It's it's like a modern retro it, console. It's it's an emulated console. It's an em okay. emulated only. Okay. Like I can't put okay. it on my um, pocket. Okay. Um. And, analog pocket it's not powerful enough to oh run really it, it okay. needs a lot of power wow. i wish oh my god i wish it could run on the pocket because mm. it's such got such cool games yeah it's got retro graphics and there's some people remaking all the arcade games for it nice it's so awesome mm. anyway drawing inspiration from the <laughs> pico 8 game ink spill offers mm. an intriguing puzzle experience players must strategically fill the entire screen with a single color Aiming to achieve this feat with the fewest moves possible. Uh, You've played games like I this. I think I've played games like this, yes. So all one color. Okay, here, box that. There you go. So you start in the top left corner. Okay. You are currently yellow. Okay. So you have the option of purple, pink, and red. Oh, I see. And you pick it at the bottom. So really, you can only pick the things that are bordering it. So now it's attached to the red. Now you have to pick purple because... That's the only thing touching it. Oh, I see. You don't move. No, there's no moving. You just fill. You know, like in paint programs, you go fill, and it goes fill, fill, fill. Gotcha. You're filling it with the next color. And the see on the left-hand side, tries. That's how many tries left have. to go. So instructions. Press joystick fire to start. Goal is simple. Fill the entire screen with a single color. Try to use at le the least possible number of moves. If you need more than 12 moves, you'll have to start the level from scratch. Take your time, analyze the board, enjoy. Gotcha. Yay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That Three was... tries left. Excellent. Level one. Um, remaining tries are shown at the le yellow icons on the left-hand side of the screen. Current level shown at the bottom right. In the bottom, you can see the currently chosen color. Here. Put that in your box. Play with it there. Um, you can choose the color, moving a cursor, joystick left and right, fire to confirm, or you can just press the number keys one to five. Pressing fire or space war will fill, flood fill as much as is possible, uh, starting from the top left tile. If you manage to fill the entire screen with a single color in 12 or less tries, you go to the next level. Uh, each level gets harder and harder to solve. Enjoy and try and reach level mm -hmm. 20, which I think we should try, because it's a pretty fast game. It's like if an Atari shipped the links with a 68, 68060. That's the Pico, yeah, I think. Yes. Like, the Lynx is very powerful CPU for the screen resolution. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly powerful. Um, so if it had, like... Yeah, that's a perfect analogy. Like, a, a Lynx with a crazy CPU. Celeste, at least on the Switch, has the old Pico 8 version as an extra in the game. So a Switch can run the Pico 8 at least. Ooh, that'd be cool if there's some console that you could um, sideload the Pico 8 emulator onto. I mean, modern computers can run it just fine. And I'm pretty sure phones can as well. Kittens. Kittens, get out of there. Psst. Why do you want in that box? Look, look, play in this box. This box is better. It doesn't contain an N64. <laughs> He's so like, I don't care. I want to fluff up I the N64. Care. Maybe a Steam Deck could? 100% a Steam Deck could. Easily. So that's one handheld that can run a Pico 8. I'm sure a phone can. Um, you can play Pico 8 games in, in a browser as well. But, of course, if your computer's not good enough, it's going to be a slow emulation. Mm. I caught a cat. It's a cat trap. 
Did I catch a cat? Every time we lose, we switch. Okay. okay. Fair. Fair. It's it's so far not too hard, so well, I'm sure it'll get harder four. as we go. So. Looking for the P8 player? Am I? I don't know. I'll have to look. Hmm. I'll have to look that up after. See if a phone, if there's a phone emulator for the Pico 8. Level 5, lots of moves left. Oh, dominating. My strategy is to find, what? connect to things that connect to the most next yes, things. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's my approach too. I mean, sometimes like, you can at, do a lot, but sometimes yeah. you can't. I like, look at the blue. That's yes. what I would do first because it connects so far in. Yeah. And connects to a lot of colors. Yeah. Because the green yeah. doesn't I connect agree. to anything but yeah. the blue again. Yeah. Yeah. And then the green and the red are both good. Darcy's got a steam deck. But, um, yeah, he does. Don't know yeah. how much he's into like playing retro games on his free time off the show. <laughs> I got a Pico 8. I got Pico 8 from hum Humble Bundle. Now I can't log in to get it. it says it blocked mm -hmm. me because it looks like I'm hacking. Oh no! Stop That's hacking! Okay. Stop your hacking, RC70. We all know what you're up to. Yeah, and if you can complete a color at any time, it's great. You, you might as do well that do it first, yeah, because it's a gimme. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's no perfect move. Uh, green is probably the yeah better. that extends the most. Then you're done. And then I've got purple and yellow, and then blue last. And if you don't die, we're switching off at level ten. Okay, that's a, that's <laughs> fair. I I know you want to play. Yes. Oh, what did I do? No, that's fine. Yeah, you're fine. I've, I've got lots of tries. I'm, I know I'm not doing things perfectly. It's like, yeah. I might have made a, uh, not the no, worst mistake, but I haven't... There's no score in the game. No, you just have to get them all. That's all there is, is fail or pass. Fail or pass. You oh, this one's easy. Yellow. There's two connected, and one goes almost all the way to the other side. I mean, blue's not yeah. bad, but... I think I agree with the yellow. Yellow connects to way more. And then it's still not collecting the blue. It's collecting, mm. connecting a lot of pink. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the Green's pink okay. gets me. I think I'd go for green. pink. Green. Because pink gets all the green. Red. And then you can do all the blue. Pink, pink, or purple. Green, green, green. Gets all the green. It's a gimme. You just do it. No, I'm just looking. Blue! There's no doing. There is no thinking. Those yeah, are obvious choices. <laughs> Red is the obvious choice, my friend. No. Yes. Or blue. You're touching all the blues oh, as well. Oh, you're right. Red or blue. Red or blue. Hi. Want to come up? Good kitty. He's getting more snuggly. He is. The black kitty. He is. Yes, you are. He's getting yeah. very snuggly and he's very There is warm. no thinking while playing the game system. <laughs> <It's not laughs> is that his? It would That's the quote of said. the night. Yeah. There is no thinking. No. Nope, this no is a puzzle thinking. game. It's all instincts. It, yeah. Well, when there are rules in play, you just do it if there's something that you yeah. can just do. Mm, <sighs> you have probably. three choices. Purple the, the spans yellow. the most. But, um, mm, I don't know if that helps you very much. I mean, purple would get me more red, not yellow would then get me a lot of blue, I think. Yeah, blue is probably a good one to get and first. And then I can get green or red, the red maybe. I would do purple because then you can get the green after the purple. Yeah, red's really good, actually. Yeah, red. And then you can get almost all the purple. Damn. You can get all the blue now. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Almost all the green. Almost, almost all the green. Almost all the purple. Uh, uh, I think I'd go green. Green is the most. You're going to have to do it again later, but... 
Of two songs. And then oh. yellow. Yep. Then purple. Then red. No, no, not red. Purple? You can't even touch the red right now. You wouldn't be able to do yeah, it. Yeah, in the top there. Oh. You're silly. You're silly. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter at this point. No. Well done. All right, one more for me, and then it's yes. you. And then I will criticize all your moves as you do them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Grr. You're going to say, purple, red, just do it, hit it, quick. Mm -hmm. Blue's not bad. Blue's very good. It has lots of blues. Connects to lots uh, of things. Purple's real good. Yeah. Purple's goes all the way almost to the other edge. Yellow! Now I can do yellow. Is that all yellow? That's yep. all yellow. You can get all the yellow this turn. You can get nice. all the red. Yeah, all the red. And then all the green. Yep. And then all the anything. All the anything. <laughs> all right. It's a very calming, nice game. There it you go. Is. Level two. Now, we've played this before in other systems or other, um, and, um... Very similar ones where you have to fill in a screen, but it's images. Some of them were Ooh, really that hard. that one, yes. I think that was last year. I found that year's. hard. This one's much easier. Well, that at was, least so far. I think that was last year's, um, one of them mm. submissions. Uh, yellow. Blue or yellow. Ugh. Yellow. It's not perfect. I'm gonna do purple. Mm. Reaches pretty far. Or yeah, purple. You could do blue then purple. Ugh. No. Now I'm gonna do. Or purple then blue. There's quite Ooh, a bit I of blue. Do... Oh, almost all the green. Ah, uh, and blue. Yeah. This is not a good one. No. Uh, this one's much tougher. Green or red? Ooh, green is the best. Green gets you. Yeah, right to the end. No, it's just one Now blue I can do left. all red. Oh, I can't do all red. Do the blue first then, then do all the red. Yeah, do it. Blue's done now. Yeah. Now red's all done. And then... Purple's not done, but all yellow can be done. Just... Green, you can't do green. Can't do green or purple yet. Now I can do both. Mm -hmm. That's a close one. Yeah. That one was... RC70 says, RC70 says, I don't get it. Oh, you're filling from the top left. Yeah, you always start, start at the top left corner and then you're just changing the color. So right now we're on purple. So anything touching that purple in the top left is one you should change to. So if I fill the top left purple with red, then all the red kind of combines, which is... Probably mm. what I'm gonna do. Uh, purple's a good one. That reaches to a lot of things. So yeah. if I fill it with purple, it'll now merge with the purple. Yeah, and then I would say maybe blue. Or blue's good. Yellow, yellow reaches quite far in. Yeah, you could do yellow and then blue. You'll get m more blue. Would I do blue then yellow would be better? I think it would be actually. Blue. Then yellow. Then. Then green. Mm. Green mm. or red, maybe. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do. Maybe green. Green. Now red. Now red. You'll get all the red. Good. It's always nice when you get all the red. All the blue. Uh, I could do all purple. Oh, all and purple. Blue. And blue. I think I've got this one now. And then no. yellow, then green, and then done. Ooh, two left. Two left. Coming soon, Bubble Sword for the Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a fill, fill algorithm, the game. It it literally mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. It literally is. That is so funny. Oh, two bad choices. Yellow or green? I'm going to do green because that connects to purple. And purple reaches it's pretty bigger. far. And then purple. Then yellow. Then yellow. Then blue. Because blue mm, goes right. all the way over there. 
and connects to a lot mm -hmm. then, then purple oh you won't get all the purple though damn it i won't get all of it and unless you do Ooh, red 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 gets everything yeah. wow that's early and then not purple and you still can't green. do purple you can do yellow all of the yellow <laughs> do all the yellow all and the, green both green. either of them either of them work oh this one's easier than the last one no you just hit on the right mix of things yep the irony being, this is probably a PAL game, so all the colors are wrong. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Well, it's a PAL game playing on a PAL system, mm. upscaling through a PAL upscaler, converting to NT NTSC colors. So it's okay. The colors should be fairly close. Blue. There's always going to be something that's, uh, oh, yeah. Blue or blue yellow, but is blue awesome. stretches the whole way through. And then. Yellow. Yeah. Because yellow's there. You're not going to get there. everything, but you're going to get a lot. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a DSC <laughs> anywhere in the chain, the colors are wrong. You are you are true. <laughs> you are very correct. That is so true. You get a lot of reds. Not all of them. Uh, I get all the green. green. Get all the green. Ooh, nice. Do it. Nice. Now you can get all the yellow. Oh, Vitoko's. Oh, that's what you're doing. Numbers. Okay. One. Oh, Vitoko's playing for us. Gotcha. Okay. Now we pick three. Well, okay. Yes. You have to refresh. Three. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be right on. Uh, right on it. Can't get yellow, anything. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, yeah, five. Get all of it. Yeah. And then blue. Ooh, uh, I think you have to do uh, red. I think you have to do red to get all the blue. Yeah. I have to uncover that blue. Yeah. And then. And then blue. And then blue. And then. And then pink. Ugh. Oh, there's a spot of red at the top. It was so. That's okay. Surrounded. Yeah, I, ex I had the same thought nostalgic. I, I saw Vitoko and I'm like, did James put, James put up a poll? <laughs> You're too early for the poll. I thought he was pre-voting on the games. That's so funny. We all had the same instinct. Like, what? what is he voting on? Yeah. Uh, the purple stretches in. That's a purple cut connects to a lot of stuff. Red will Ooh. stretch right yes. really deep in. Lots of reds. And then maybe the yellow or the green. Green. Green is very good. I think I'm gonna go green first. Yeah. Well, that one's good. Um. Yellow. Blue. No, yep. it's not all the blue. Yellow. It's all the yellow. Yes. Not all the yellow. But no. It's very close. Where are you missing yellow? Those two on the left. Oh yeah, because the green is yep. blocking it up. Ugh. This one's very buried. Uh, There's so much buried. I can't do all the blue. Can't do all the red. Oh, I can do all the. No, I can't do all the red. Can't do all the green. Or the pink. So you just got to pick whatever you feel. What uncovers? What is the most buried? It's that yellow right there. Or the so that's blue. That's green. The green. The green would expose all the red. Yep. That's a good strategy. And then... And no, then, it won't. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not doing so well. We have to the redo pink? This one. No. I just have to keep digging on the left there. Ugh. As best as possible. Then the blue. Now you have all the red. There you go. And then all the red. Think I should make it? Yep. Easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. easily. Okay. And three. Whew. Down to two. We've been down to two before. <laughs> yeah, that's Five more bad. levels or six. It's too much fun. Ooh, blue. Then green. Yeah, that stretches in. Then red. Red or yellow? Yellow stretches Ooh. in. Yellow goes to the purple. Yeah. Yeah. Do yellow, I think you purple. might have all purple there. Ooh. You touching oh purple my God. everywhere you are. All the purple? That early? Yeah. Wow. That's good. <coughs> touching um, all the yellows. And oh, this is going to be a good one. All the reds, maybe? I think it's all I done. think you're good now. Yep. Oh, that was... These aren't in order of difficulty. <laughs> well, sometimes you just fall on the right first one and... Nice. Yep. Um, the, the mm. yellow's good. Purple goes to the blue, but I think I'm gonna do yellow. Cause that touches a bunch. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna do blue. I, oh. I purple then blue. Purple then blue, and then yeah. yellow. And then yellow it touches a Ooh, lot of yellow. Red? Or red. Yep. Yeah, both of those are good. Green is nice. Oh yeah, it gets me to that corner. A little bit quicker. Okay. Oh, touching all the purple. Are you? Nice. Yep. Nice. 
these. And I'll do red because it's touching all the red. These are not in order of difficulty. Needed a bit more playtesting. No, they just, it's not necessarily a super hard. I don't think they're in order of difficulty, no, are they? I don't think they are. Um, mm. I'm going to guess they're handmade. Yeah. Um, not generated. But I have played ones that are, are generated. This, this mm. style of game. Uh, I'm touching two purples. So. Mm. Green? Green, probably. And blue. Blue for sure. Uh, Red. Or green again? Green only does one. Red oh, does yeah, two right. at least. Yeah. Does that get me far? Well, I think I'm going to fail this one. Blue, maybe? Stretches uh, down? And yeah. Yeah, blue's good. Purple's Ooh. really good. It gets to a lot. Okay, now. Green? Oh, almost all green. Red. All red. Oh, no, not all red. But, but red most gets, of it. uncovers a lot. It does. Gets around the edges of a lot of things. Yeah, so. I think you're Green! Pretty... You've got all green now. Oh, wow. Now, all, yellow. All yellow's done. Oh, wow. Okay, this is better than I thought. But I was in and big then... trouble. Purple. Purple and blue, and then red is last. Yeah. Oh, I am. I was in trouble. Ah, Down to the last try. You did it. I think. I'm liking. I. Me too. Crew neck lion. I like yeah. uh, the soundtrack. It's very nice. Very soothing. Three more levels. <sighs> blue. Two more levels. Nope. There's 20 levels. Oh, in total. 18, 19, 20. Oh, I thought you when you were gonna stop. I was like, no, I get to do level 20 because you did. You started on level 10. But True. You can do the last no, one. No, no, it's fine. You can no, do it. You can, you can do the finish last it up. one. I don't mind. Uh, purple, maybe? No, because I want to cover the red first, then I'll do the purple. Red? Okay. Uh, I think you really want to kind of make your blue? way over to the most buried thing. Yeah. Blue, maybe? Yes. Thank you for following! Yay! Machine G-E-X. Glad you're enjoying... It's a very relaxing... Our soothing stream of <laughs> matchy colors. Puzzle games. Things you learned in kindergarten. Yes, exactly. Those are the What best color games. is this? Yes. Is it the same as this color? <laughs> yeah. And all those poor, poor kids who didn't realize they were colorblind. Oh, I just have so much trouble with this game. Come on, try harder, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, oh that's poor terrible. Poor Timmy. Poor Timmy. Such a uh, rough life. Green. Yep. Yeah. Green is done. Yellow is done. Um, I think I saw a comment on this game. Yeah. That somebody made that they were colorblind and there was enough of other colors in each color. Oh, that they could see it. They could see it. Very nice. Like there's only five colors, so I mean, certain there's, all there's different colorblind. Different. Yeah. Like some some depends on on what you're looking at. But so. their 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 colorblindness allowed them to play this game. That's so, nice to hear. So if they had red, blue, or green, blue color blindness, there's enough. Because they do Contrast. that with traffic lights, too. If you notice, green uh, is not fully green. Red is not fully red. There's a bit of a mix of colors. So they, it, they can be distinguished. I mean, that yeah. makes sense. I mean, they are in an order, too. Yeah. But um, definitely blue. And then definitely purple. And definitely red. And then definitely purple blue, again, because that kills blue. all the purples. And and all the blue is is gone too, I think, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, look wow. at you go. Look at me go. I'm look matching all the colors. Go. This is probably one of the better levels <laughs> we, that we've done. And one more, and then it's Tanya's Yay. turn for the last level. I probably screwed up now. All no, right. We haven't failed one level. So this Red isn't a challenging spin. game, it's a relaxing game. It is a relaxing game. And it's a fun game. I think this would be a very good game for kids at this skill level <laughs> yep. that it's on. Because I was looking up games like this, and there's some where it's, it's like just double and triple squares. That's the biggest you get. This one, <coughs> there's huge 
meandering connections. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow gets a ton of stuff in there, but... There's a lot of yellow left behind. I would do yellow because that uncovers every purple. Yellow does? Yep. All right. And then you can do all the purples. Mm, yep, yeah, it looks like you are correct. And then you're home free. All the reds. Uh, oh, nope. not all the reds. Nope. All the greens. All the greens are looking good. All the reds. Uh, all the blues. All the blues or reds. Or yellows. <laughs> you're, you're done. And last but not least, number five. Da, da, da. Woo, that's level 20. What if it adds up all the tries? Good job. Good job. Awesome. Yay. That's our reward. You get Congratulations! Thanks, very Bill. good. Very fun. Very Thank fun. Thank you, Saljic. I graduated kindergarten! Yay! <laughs> you graduated kindergarten. You did. You get a diploma and you get a little hat that you'll hate. Yeah. Oh, we got them some some Halloween fancy uh, Christmas. Uh, oh, we did for a Christmas broadcast. Yes. We can't talk about them, but they're nope. very cute. And they'll wear them for two seconds. They well, maybe longer than two seconds. Okay, next game is Numeru by Peter Hines, okay. a retro coder. Uh, this came in eleventh place. If you want to load it up, okay. Remember what I just called it? Numeru. Yay! Uh, this is a twelve K X E X. You will have to uh, put your number matching skills to the test in this Atari eight bit version of Tetravax. I know this game. Uh, arrange nine tiles Smash into a tile colors. arrange nine tiles into a three by three grid, ensuring the numbers and colors on the edges align perfectly. I've definitely had physical games like this before. So we do have colors. Uh, you can add more numbers, but we will leave it on zeros and ones. Leave it on difficulty one. Rotation. No rotation. No. Okay. So go for it. So what do I do? I so you. Click the one you want to move in to the left. So you're mm -hmm. placing the tiles. So you want one in the center that is going to work with all of them. Oh or you could start on the I, I have top played. left. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Mm. You can change the numbers of the tiles. Zero and one are the default. Zero, try zero to nine for a little bit of a challenge. The color option switches between black or black and white tiles. The introduction of color makes the game a little easier until it gets more challenging quickly. Difficulty level adjusts the number of white sections. The, no the higher the number, the more white, the more difficulty. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Um, oh, so you want to match those two ones and ones if you want to not put them on the outside border. Yes. There you go. I wonder if you can take back your placement. I, I hope so, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, well, you need a one and a one. Plus something, Ooh. probably that one, 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 and then a zero on the bottom. No, this is this is not going to work. Uh, no, nope, it's already a problem. The zero is nope. already a problem. Nope. Where am I putting it? Um, choose the bottom middle. Which one? Choose the bottom middle and place it in the bottom middle. There is no wrap around. It's fine. No, no, but this one doesn't can't go anywhere. Oh, I see. You're looking at that one. I um, don't... no. Yeah, you're screwed. So you have to uh, erase some of those on the left. Terrible. Rotation is the kicker. If it's turned on, the level generator will randomly rotate the tiles, and you'll have to rotate them to find the matches. Oh, geez. This one's not even rotational. Use the joystick to move the selector cursor onto a tile. Press fire to select the tile. It'll show you in the action box at the top. Move the cursor to the location you would like to place a tile. Press the fire. Yes. Enjoy on. the race against the clock. Didn't even know. Are we? Are we? It's counting up. 
So. Mm. Love my new computer. It is using the uh, OBS is using point one percent of the CPU. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. It's like. Eh barely even registering. Nope. Hmm. Given the hint, you're probably fine with the edge tiles, but needed to change the center tile. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's a hint. Oh, it really gives you a hint. Mm. <laughs> it did give me a hint? The hint's on the top, because it uses the, uh, the filled-in tiles to show you where they go. There's probably other combinations. Oh, I see. I'm screwed here. Oh, the hint is up there. Wait, the hint is telling you basically where to put things. <laughs> well, telling, telling Why you at least... Why is it doing that? At least telling you where to put four things. Sorry, I, I screwed it up because... Oh, I didn't even see that. I mean, that is if you take the hand. One's wrong. Two are wrong. There you go. Where's if you flip one? those around, they should work. Which one? Is this one? Yeah, they would work. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh. Let's see. I If I'd seen the hint, I would have done it right away. I well, didn't even see that there. Did it come really, up right away? You don't really want to use the That's hint, That's very right? silly. Given the hint, you're probably fine with that. Yeah, I didn't even... Nah, didn't notice there was a hint even there. Let's make it the hardest one. Yeah, now that there's a hint, that actually kind of makes life easier. Zero through nine. Actually, that might make it easier. Um, no colors, yes colors. Difficulty. Oof. Let's not do rotation. That's going to make my brain hurt. I've played these games before, and you can just kind of look at the, like, you just move them around. It's not that hard. Yeah, you see there's, yeah. like, a nine, and then there's the only other nine. I, I remember playing this and... Try and do that. Um, but a, with rotation. It's a, a lot harder with rotation. Oh, my God, yes. Um, because you can just kind of see, oh, well, there's no three and a four, so, nope, One that's not going to work. So is there a one and a seven? Yes. Then, okay, that uh, goes. Or you know what I mean? Like yes, you... Yes, exactly. Yeah. Can you... Stop. Can you do this? No. It has to match the color, too. Mm. So if I move that over there, that over to there... Well, if you look at the hint, the hint no, tells you a lot. No, I don't want to look at the hint. Oh, okay. <laughs> the hint actually helps a lot. Oh, goodness. The hint Six, tells you exactly seven. what the and corner one should be. That is why I'm not looking at it. So let's start with the seven. Oh, Vitoko, fourth round of ads. Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> and he can't hear us telling him to yeah. subscribe. No, not everyone Subscri can do that. No. <laughs> um, oh, there's a zero. Let's try that. Now that can go on the top row, middle, or bottom. So let's see how this plays out. There's a five. There's a nine. Oh, that works. Or does it? Yep. Five. Nine. And a one and a four. That works. Ooh, this is good. Now that could be the top or the bottom. So let's see if there's a seven. And oh, I think I've done it. I think you have. Without looking at the hint. Yay! Thank you for subscribing. Hey, nostalgic. Thank you. Nostalgic. No ads for you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's gifting a, a sub to Pack Rat 1977. Oh, was that random or you just. I think it was. I think you do do it random. Burning the toke. <laughs> I think it is random. I think I'm it is sure random. I don't think you pick. So. He would have given it to Vitoko <laughs> if it wasn't random because he's sad about the. Uh... Yeah. I think it's easier with more numbers because if it's just zero and one, there's tons of them. 
and tons of combos. I actually do. Right? A zero and one is like, oh, where do I put them? If you look at the hint, you you it's huge. It tells you right away where to start. So yeah, because it goes, oh, that's that. there, and then that that's there, and then the rest is just filling it in. So then you go, oh, is there any it, threes? There's only eights? one eight. There you go. Only one eight. Yeah, it's and all. then there's an eight and a three, and that's the only one. Yeah. So I'm cheating this time, obviously, but the hint makes it very. Wow. Hey, Yay! Nostalgic Toko. Thank you, Nostalgic. <laughs> That's really kind. Thank That's you. That's so nice of yeah, you. Yeah, that is really nice. Now Vitoko is good for a month. Yeah, with He's no here ads. a lot, so it's, yep. it's, it's, that's an excellent gift. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, did you want to play this? Don't oh, no, we hint? don't have to. Okay. No, I, I can't not look at the hint. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the last game is called Rotor. Yep. But he has not released the binary for I don't know what reason. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a look at the video of the game. Let's switch over to that. Come on. And so we can just take a look at it. Oh, Vidoko mm -hmm. saw it. Yay. Enjoy ad-free viewing. Yes, it is a huge, huge, huge thing benefit. You... Okay. Yeah. So here is Rotor. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. Very nice. Oh, I like the music too. Oh, we've played games like this before. Yes. We is this, this like Circular Pong? Yes. So we played this on the on the twenty six hundred. Okay. Before. Okay. Who did that? Ooh, oh my God! Million names and a I million know, games. I know. We've had a couple of rotational pong games, I think. Yes. Um, it's by Freddie Ofenga. Um, I don't know how big it is because it's not been released. It placed ninth in ABBUC contest. Uh, the Vintage is the new old summary. Transport yourself to the year 2102, where underground miners engage in friendly competition using drone tools known as rotors. Compete against a colleague by bouncing a color ball in the pipelines to determine the national rotor champion. Uh, you'll become the rotor champion when you have scored 11 points. To score a point, you have to use your skills to make sure your opponent misses at the ball. If you hit the ball squarely with the center of the rotor bat, the ball moves straight across the field, and an edge hit will cause the ball to angle. The color of the ball shows which player has to hit the ball with the bat. Remember that rotor is about having fun, and of course showing off your quick reaction skill and superior tactics <laughs> to your friends. Excellent. Um, so uh, Darwin Mack asked in the Atari Age forums of a uh, developer... Uh, will there be a digital version available for that uh, for the us who would like the enhanced version? He is going to actually release this on cartridge. Oh, nice! An enhanced version of the game. Okay. And he said probably around the end of the year they'll mm -hmm. release a digital version for people to download. Um, so the uh, Rotor Two, which is going to be the enhanced version on cartridge, uh, says it'll include a one-player mode. Mm -hmm. So there'll be an AI in the game to play against. There'll be seven levels, slow to fast. There's a demo mode and also mouse support. Oh. So you'll be able to move very quickly. Oh, that's probably really good, yeah. So right now I'm guessing it is um, digital movement where you have a constant speed of rotation. For, from a joystick? Yeah. So that would make it a lot easier for, not say, a, a faster game. Not a paddle a, controller then. Uh, no, they went with... Well... It'd have to be a mouse, driving controller, right? I think mouse is paddle. Uh, mouse okay. is like two paddles. Okay. Essentially, I believe that's okay. how it works. If I'm not mistaken, it's a potentiometer that uh, is is moved. Uh, no, not driving controller. I don't think... Yeah, mouse is a two-directional, right? It's X and Y, just like two paddles. Mm. And they infinitely spin because you can infinitely spin the mouse down or gotcha. up. Um, a driving, oh no, that's right. Driving is continuous. Driving's Ooh. continuous. No, maybe I'm talking, thinking about, oh my God, thinking about driving controllers. Mouse is two driver controllers. Yeah, I'd mix those up. That's right. So yeah, it should have driving controller support. 
support then? Uh -huh. hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So uh, let's take a look at, because he also released a video Ooh. of Rotor 2. Okay. I don't know if this really shows off the enhancements. Is this the high as it goes? 240p. Oh my goodness, oh, this one's much louder. Human versus human, human versus robot. There we go. Level one. Oh, there's also a demo mode you can just put it into. So that'd be robot versus robot. Mm -hmm. So once you've got an AI, you can have an AI play an AI. That's true. If you're both playing the same game, not like, oh, the AI is playing the enemy, which is, has a different gun and mm -hmm. has different abilities. So did this end up? It's very similar. Level three. Okay. Yeah, it's just kind of adds some enhance enhancements. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the mouse is a huge thing. Yeah. So control stick, human versus robot, level three. I'm going to do that same one again. Ah, RC70, I've been playing a game called Blade Ball on Roblox with my kid. It's this but 3D and way more players. Oh, cool. That's cool. Multiplayers. Oh, this level five. Faster? I think I saw. Oof, oof. Much faster. Is it playing with a mouse? Let's go back. No, stick. Oh, you're able to miss the ball? Yeah, you miss it. That's how you lose a point. Oh, it just if racks it If you don't get it, it, it just racks up points. So oh if you don't God. get it, it'll just go boom, 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 It doesn't lose. start over. There's no serve. It no, just, no, wow. no. It just continually goes. That's different than other ones. The other ones, I think, had a serve. Mm. Going right back to Pong. <laughs> circular. It's circular Pong. Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's what it is. One of the, one of the first games. Ever? Well, it's one of the first arcade games. There mm -hmm. was... There was um, games before that, but they didn't do well because they were too complicated. People were like, "What? What? What? What's happening? What?" Well, Never I played a video game before. If it's if you're new to video games, like ever, then yeah. yes, it can't be too complicated. Yeah, Pong is dead easy to understand, and it mimics something in real life. Yes, it's yeah. ping pong. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Um, right. So that. Those are all the games. Oh, we're not playing Rotor. I was like, no, oh, where, when are we playing Rotor? <laughs> it's not released. <laughs> I was getting all geared up. Okay, we're playing another one. Nope. Very so there's nice. a poll. What was your yeah. favorite game we streamed today? Ooh. Uh, there's Zauber Ball, Ooh. which is the bouncy thing. Yep. Uh, DOTA, which I've totally forgotten what it is. It's not a the name doesn't super associate. super name. Yeah. Uh, let me look that up again. Uh, oh, connect dots. It was the moving dot. You have to find oh, it, the invisible dot. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. What was double again? I've double already... was the 2048 one. That Ooh, was quite good. That one is fun. Uh, oh, this is a tough ink one. Ink spill, which was the 20 levels, which yeah. is also very fun. It's more relaxing, that one. It wasn't hard. Yeah. It's relaxing. Ooh. Numeru was the one we just played. And then yeah. Rotor, which one we saw. Yeah. Ooh. I really like Zauber Ball. Yeah, I was gonna say I really for like complexity double. of the gameplay, Zauber Ball kind of it's huge, wins right? yeah. because it's a much bigger world, it seems. Yeah. Um, DOTA was it was frustrating at points because it was like I swear <laughs> I'm on it. At points. At, at points. Uh, <laughs> pun not intended. Pun. Uh, very punny. Um Double, ooh. I really like double. I like it's the look of it fun. too. It looked really good. I think I think it would be between dot A and double. Oh, um, okay. You like dot A. I did because it was hard. And yeah. and and it's it was simple but hard and I like games like that. Yeah. But I I mean they're all really good and Zauber Ball if I was more of a shooter person I think it would be Zauber Ball. I'm a shooter think, person. Yeah. One for me. So it's a hard one. Um, Which one would you go back to? Which one do you think you would play extensively? I'd want to do dot A until I won every every level. <laughs> yeah, I can feel that inside myself, like yeah. just wanting to to do it, do, do all five rounds the in the time. The fact that it allows you to keep playing the level over and over game yes. again, you don't have to start from scratch, gives yeah. you a, a chance to make it through the levels eventually. But I mean, I like Ink Spill too. It was fun. 
Yeah. Numeru, I swear I had an actual game like that. I did. I had a board up, game. Or I had I played it. Which was fun. Yeah. Um I don't know, they were all really good. All really good games. Yeah. Yeah. Every year the ABBUC brings out the, the best in people. Yeah. Vitoko really liked Rotor. I mean, it, unfortunately, we didn't get to play it, but that's yeah. a fun conceptual action game. Action game. Yeah. Two player or player like against that. the CPU. Yeah. Yeah. So a, a, a yeah. good diversity. Double. I think people like double. I like double a lot. I think that was well executed too. And I could yes. just play that. It looked really good. If it was good. on my phone, I'd just be sitting here doing this. <laughs> what what game so. are you playing right now on your phone? That oh, it's addicted a stupid to? game. It's uh, it's similar. It's it's. I think they call it like a watermelon game, where it's just you're dropping bubbles and they get bigger and they fill the screen. It's the same game. It's the same game. Except the the balls kind it's of fit into. It's just a meditative game. They fit. They fall. Yeah. And they fit into cracks. It's to contrast to Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah, that's <laughs> which is all a thinking. big contrast. <laughs> and and and. Uh, strategy and then it's like i just need to drop balls onto each other yeah. and make them bigger yeah. so most people went for double oh no it's a tie between zagra ball there and, that and that double. makes sense makes that sense. makes sense those those are I our, get it. I our get favorites it. too yep yep good stuff um so coming up on the show uh next we're probably gonna do a 2600 day on Soon? friday excellent is that erlin or darcy nope. uh, Darcy, Darcy. Yeah, yeah, you had Erlen last week. Yeah. Last Friday. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna do another eight, um, sorry, eight bit day. Um, some more puzzly games for you. Yep. Um, but coming up at the twenty third, we have the Atari Jaguars thirtieth anniversary classic gaming countdown. Twenty mm third -hmm. is a Thursday. You don't do anything on a Thursday, do you? No. The 23rd? Yeah. I do, but oh. I can make sure I don't... I'm not doing anything on a Thursday. On the 23rd of November? Uh, yes, this month. I mean, okay. we can do it late. It's an after dark. So we can do it after I, could, well, I whatever just, you do. I just usually go to the gym, but I can reschedule that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whichever. Because it's, it's not a show day, but it is the exact anniversary of oh, the Jaguars. Oh, we Jaguar, can do that. So. Yeah, no, that's not a problem. Yep. U.S. Thanksgiving? Is that is, is that it? on the Thursday? Oh. Oh, we'll have a U.S. Thanksgiving celebration. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Is it? Let's see. Canadians do U.S. Well, I'll Thanksgiving. I'll believe you. Um, I just like any excuse to eat. So November twenty third, Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, it is. No, is no, it? Wait, wait, wait. No. Thanksgiving Day twenty twenty three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. Not that I didn't believe you, but I nice. Did. All right. Just wanted to make sure. Well, it's, it's always, always Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Oh, okay. We're in Canada, by the way. In Canada, it's always on Monday. And on in October. In October. Yeah. But okay. I mean, our Thanksgiving day is always on Monday. But Thursday is a little strange. Do, yeah. do people Why get Friday Thursday? off? No. Do they get Thanksgiving off and then they go back to work on Friday, or do they work on Thursday and deflect like, it, it to the Friday? Like, is it usually a long, long weekend? Do you get Thursday and Who Friday? Thursday. Thursday's so funny. Why? And then Black Friday, so everyone takes Friday off to do shopping. Is that how oh, it works? Oh, is it a double holiday? I don't think it is. Black Friday is is depends. Depends on the job. On the job. So it's it's not. Is it like a national holiday, Let, or is it a kind federal, of if you get? Let's it. say federal workers, because they would get holidays, right? Usually. I don't know. U.S. works different than Canada. You have but. to instruct us on how Thanksgiving yeah. works down there. Yeah. I get all the food because we've watched all the movies. Food and football. That's food all and I know. Football. About. That's and all Black I, Friday and, and Black shopping. Friday. That's all I know about yeah. Thanksgiving in the U.S. Yeah. People trampling each other to get a dollar off on television. Which doesn't happen so much now. Now they're just no, they're just, just online blowing click. up the web trying to yeah. log into Amazon. So. Anyway, November twenty third, <laughs> excellent Thanksgiving. We'll be online all playing right. uh, through uh, nineteen ninety three to nineteen ninety four. Yeah. Of Jaguar games. So what should we eat? Do we need like the cats? Oh, nom, uh, nom. Um, cat legs, roasted cat legs. Come here. Uh, nom 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 nom. I don't know what would be good. Like uh, we, we should have pilgrims. some uh, pilgrims. <laughs> um, Effigies of pilgrims. Arr, <laughs> rip off their heads. Federal is just, just thir Thursday. So you go back to work the next day. That seems so mean. <laughs> um, I got to look at the history of why Thursday was Yeah, cho that's chosen. interesting. That's interesting. Um, but I mean, a long time ago, people worked six days a week. And they worked till Saturday. Well, that's so why you, Thursday that's wouldn't why even Sunday, be. That's why Sunday was the day of rest. The so first, that you would get a day off a week. Yeah. So 
So that people um, were working seven days a week. And then yeah. they gave it another day. Yeah. Some stores are open Thanksgiving, some are not. Okay. Yeah, I think it just depends. Yeah. Um, That's inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also are going to have Atari Age Day 2023, a late November. Gotcha. Late. Night. Late November. After the 23rd? It's going to be a Saturday. Oh, so are we going to do it? It's going to be either the 25th. Okay. Or December 2nd. 25th is Thanksgiving weekend if people are taking the weekend. Perfect. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, or December 2nd if, okay. it, if it misses that. Okay. Uh, might be pushed to that. And this is for all the new games going into the Atari Age store. We're going to be talking to all the developers. We're going to be unboxing all the games that are coming out from Atari Age. It's going to be a fun time. Nice. We're going to do it all in one day. It's going to be a big day. <laughs> big old day. Yep. Um, and then later on, we're going to have, uh, John Champo talking about his new games. We'll be unboxing Love it. Elevator Agent Turbo Arcade. And that's going to be pre-Christmas sometime? Both of them are pre-Christmas. Okay. Both of them are for the holidays. So yes. People can buy these games for the holidays. And then in December, we're going to have the four player special. Mm -hmm. I'll have all four light guns working by then. And we're going to be playing a whole bunch of four-player games all at once. Simultaneous four-player games. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Darcy and Erlen here. Yeah. Pack the couch and add another chair over I'm there. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. We have done that before, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, tons of fun. Yeah. Last time it was in the summer, the camera got all steamed up. Oh, we got so warm. I had to get a wide-angle <laughs> lens. And yeah. It just so did not warm. work. Yeah, it, it was, was too hot. It was a mess. It is definitely a winter a winter um, escapade is, yep. is having four people in this tiny little room. So And February yeah. 2nd, the nominees will be revealed. Wow, that feels the so The Atari fast. Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Uh, and the voting starts on that day. Okay. I believe. Yep, February 2nd. And then on the 24th Fed of February, second. Saturday, is the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Excellent. We'll wow. Give out the awards. Right, well ahead. Oh, I yeah. have to. I'm starting everything right now, contacting. Like, well, we're already looking, thinking about war awards and getting those. Oh, I'm getting those ready. Yeah. We're yeah. going to make sure that's ready to go. And so. they look even better than last yes, year. Yes. They yes. look awesome. They We've will. learned lessons. We have learned. Yes. Um, lessons learned. So the nomination committees are already uh, stacking up now. I've got a bunch of people already uh, signed up for that. Yeah. It They're should slow. be 2024 0202, Dan. Good, good catch. Oops. Yes. Yeah. I'll fix that after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not last year's. Yeah, yeah. Not back in time. You missed the voting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we start also playing the games. Oh, I love that the, part too. That's so much fun. All the best games oh, of the year. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so good. The lead up is so much fun. I yeah. love it a lot. Yeah. So we have like six shows or something playing yeah. all the games. Yeah. That's a really good time. Um, and of course, we have the Atari uh, Holiday Homebrew Special where we put hats on cats. Hats on cats. And try and find some holiday games. <laughs> we'll see if we can find some. I was able to find some Halloween games this year, amazingly enough. Oh, they were cool. Yeah. It was, it's getting harder and harder because they all have to be pretty much new games. What's the what's the, um, the ghost and the... the um, what is that? The gardening? Oh, to, 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 Tober's Nightmare. Tober's Nightmare. So good. Love it. Love it. That has to be my Halloween game every year now. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That that Tober's definitely Nightmare. should come out on cart next year. In oh, time. really? Well, I, I hope so. It's in done. In time for Halloween. It's, it's pretty much done. Excellent. So, Or at least the next round of Atari Age releases. Hats on cats. Scratches on your <laughs> Yes, that's how the game is that's played. That's a guarantee. Uh, and yeah. and uh, Sprite is, is giving me a look from the floor right now. <laughs> that's right. Scratches on humans. Don't you dare come near me <laughs> with that hat. not put on a hat. So we have to <laughs> clip the murder mittens before we put the hats on the cats. That's right. Clip, 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 clip. So it's just dull, dull blades. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's it's butter knives at that oh, point. Oh, yeah. poor kitties. They don't mind. They just have an opportunity to sharpen them up again. That's uh, true. Uh, so we're done for today. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of great games. I love going through the ABBUC contest Me entries too. every year. They're really, really good. Thank you for tuning in. RC70, Dan AVC, Nostalgic, uh, Vitoco. Yay, no more ads for Vitoco for a month. <laughs> uh, very nice nostalgic very for, nice for donating Thank two you. subs we uh, really appreciate it crew neck lion yes. cyrano 
Gamadel. Uh, Gamadel. Mr. Zarnawoop. Yay. Caffeman 2D. BR Pocock. Miss Command. Miss Command. Rod, Rod Castler. Yeah. Uh, and that's nice. it. And everybody else who is lurking will yes. be back on Friday with mm -hmm. some more Atari games mm -hmm. with Darcy. Darcy. Um, so have a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you just before the weekend mm -hmm. or on the weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. uh,